Queen Scally here. Welcome back to another Fun Facts video. So this one is for the Three Caballeros. This one is a redo, so if you have not seen the original one, please go back and watch it again before watching this one if you so choose to. Other than that, let's get started. This movie and Saludos Amigos 1942 were created by Disney in order to improve the United States of America's relations with South American countries during World War II. The famed cartoonist Don Rosa made several sequels to this story in printed comics setting Jose and Panchito up as Donald's only true friends. This is one of the few stories that he worked in to his duck universe that is not part of the Barks canon. Clarence Nash also provides the voice of Donald Duck in the Spanish dubbed version giving Donald a charming American accent that complements Jose Carioca's Brazilian and Panchito's northern Mexican ones. During the final years of World War II, the character Panchito Pistoles, introduced in the film, served as a minor military symbol. He was the mascot of the 201st Fighter Squadron, a Mexican fighter airplane squadron that assisted the American forces in the recapture of the Philippines. The likeness of Panchito was also painted as nose art on an American bomber plane, a North American B-25 Mitchell. The original airplane was scrapped in 1949, but another B-25 Mitchell was fashioned into a replica of it with the same Panchito image. It is still in civilian service and appears in air shows. Jose Carioca introduces Donald Duck to the charms of Bahia. This is actually Portuguese for bay. The locale being introduced is the state of Bahia. The two terms are closely related but spelled differently. Bahia is one of the 26 federal states of Brazil. Several of the songs used in the film became 1940s hits when covered by artists like Bing Crosby and Dinah Shore. They have continued to receive covers over the years and some are considered with the exception of Mickey Mouse's brief appearance with Leopold Stokowski in Fantasia 1940, this was the first time Walt Disney attempted to combine animation with live actors since Alice Comedies in 1920s. Held its world premiere in Mexico City on December 21st, 1944. The premise of the film is that it is Donald's birthday and his friends give him a tour of Latin America as a gift. The date of the birthday is given as Friday 13th, with no month specified. The later animated short Donald's Happy Birthday in 1949 is also set on Donald's birthday and gives the date as March 13th. The ethnicity of the protagonist of the Flying Gauchito is depicted differently in the English and Spanish versions of the film. The English version, the Gauchito, is from Uruguay, while the Spanish version, he is from Argentina. The film narrates the traditional story of the founding of Tenochtitlan in 1325. The wandering tribes of Aztecs were seeking a sign for the proper location to build a new city. In a swampy island within Lake Tencoco, they noticed an eagle who was devouring a snake. They chose to build the city on the island, as explained in the film. The story is commemorated in the flag of Mexico, which depicts on an eagle devouring a serpent. The song You Belong to My Heart was later featured in a Disney short called Pluto's Blue Note, 1947, and eventually recorded by Bing Crosby. A 2002 episode of the television series House of Mouse, which focused on Panchito, revealed that Panchito Pistoles is his pseudonym. The episode gave his actual name as Panchito Romero Miguel Junipera Francisco Quintero Gonzalez III. This was the last Disney animated feature film released during World War II. The Al Acapulco Beach scene was not in fact filmed on location. It was filmed in the back lot of the Disney Studios. The woman Donald lusts after in the Bahia segment is played by singer Aurora Miranda, 1915-2005. She was the younger sister of Carmen Miranda, 1909-1955. Aurora had a notable singing career and appeared in a few films through the three, though the Three Caballeros 1945 is the one best remembered of them. When approaching the Juan Fernandez Islands of Chile, Pablo the Penguin briefly encounters Robinson Crusoe. This is a historical in-joke. The nearly uninhabited Juan Fernandez Islands are the location where Scottish sailor Alexander Selkirk, 1676-1721, was stranded for a five-year period, 1704-1709. The novelist Daniel Defoe, circa 1660-1731, based on the fictional character Robinson Crusoe on Selkirk. The Pablo the Penguin segment features a shot of a penguin diving into the water. This animation is taken from the Silly Symphony 
Peculiar Penguins, 1934. The film introduces the character Panchito Pistoles as a co-star to Donald Duck and Jose Carioca. He is the first Disney animated feature film character to be Mexican. Caballero means gentleman or knight in Spanish. While the film never received a proper sequel, three of its featured characters, Donald Duck, Jose Carioca, and the Araquian Bird, star in a segment of Melody Time, 1948. The segment The Flying Gauchito was originally intended for inclusion in Saludos Amigos, 1942. In his first text story, 1943, Panchito was called Pancho el Charro. This name was never reused. It means Pancho the Horseman. Charro is a Mexican term for a traditional horseman, particularly associated with specific states of the Federation. They are dressed in colorful clothing with, with sombreros, heavily embroidered jackets, and tightly cut trousers. They typically perform in the Chariada, a competitive sport with some similarities to the rodeo. All three stars of the film have appeared in the comic book stories produced in various countries. Donald Duck and Jose Carioca are very popular characters often headline their own series. Panchito Pistoles has not fared so well. He was briefly the star of his own comic strip in 1945, but never quite caught on as a solo star. Most of his appearances in various series. The song Mexico was the only song of the film to be entirely original to it. It was composed by Charles Wolcott with lyrics by Ray Gilbert. The music for the title is the Mexican folk standard, Ay Jalisco No Te Rajes. Panchito sings some of the original lyrics but before making his entrance and again at the end of the musical number. Along with predecessor Saludos Amigos, this film is considered mostly notable for its Latin American theme setting characters and, same, and some cast members. The Araquan bird never actually speaks in the film. He only sings and was, uses various vocal effects. The voice of the Araquan bird and his distinct song are provided by voice actor Pinto Colvig. Colvig provided the voice of several Disney characters over the years, but is most, mostly remembered as the voice of Goofy. The film depicts Donald Duck as girl crazy. He lusts after a live action woman, chases after them, kisses them, and entire and an entire segment Donald's reverie is devoted to his drunk like reverie from the various interactions with them. And this has been one of the most discussed aspects of the film since its release. The song Have You Been to Bahia is a new version of Voce Ya Foi a Bahia, 1941, by Dorival Kami, 1914 to 2008. Somewhat unusually, the version used in the film contains lyrics in two languages. It re retains part of the original Portuguese lyrics and translates the rest to English. It is very close in meaning to the original version, with one key change to whom the song is addressed. In the original version, the singer introduces Bahia to a nega, female lover. The new version, the term nega, is replaced with the name Donald. With its wacky attitude, red hair, and distinctive beak, the Araquian bird somewhat resembles the then contemporary version of Woody Woodpecker. The film never depicts or mentions Daisy Duck, Donald's main love interest since 1940. This is probably intentional. Her presence or memory would render scenes of Donald lusting after other women as depictions of infidelity. The Mexico segment specifies that the areas depicted are Acapulco, Pátzcuaro, and Veracruz. Acapulco is a city, Pátzcuaro is a town, and Veracruz is a federal state. Panchito Pistoles is partly named after the two handguns pistols that he carries in various scenes of the film. However, pistoles is not an actual Spanish term. The Spanish term for handguns and pistols is pistolas. The film was reissued in 1977 by Buena Vista, severely edited and re-released as a feature on a bill with the 1977 reissue of 1968's Never a Dull Moment. While the Araquian bird does not resemble any real species of bird, the name of the character probably derives from Portuguese Araquai and Araquan. They are the terms used in Brazil for the speckled chochalaca or Talis gutara a species of bird found in the Amazon basin. Pablo the Penguin has been adapted to the Disney comics, though he has made few 
actual appearances in 1949, he co-starred in the story Dumbo and Pablo Penguin, his co-star being Dumbo. In 1947, Pablo starred in the story Pablo the Cold-Blooded Penguin. In 1999, he was reintroduced in the Brazilian story Balinho o Pinguim. It was followed by three sequel stories, all published in 1955. The rest of his appearances are cover arts and posters. The flying donkey at the f in the film is simply called Gorito. The term literally means little donkey, since it is the diminutive of burro, Spanish and Portuguese, for the term donkey. This was the second appearance of Aurora Miranda, 1958 2005, in English speaking film. Her first was. Film Noir, Phantom Lady, 1944. The title song, The Three Caballeros, and its lyrics are original to the film. However, the melody was an adaptation. It is the melody of Ay Jalisco No Te Rajes, 1941, by Manuel Esperon, 1911 to 2011. The song, Bahia, and its lyrics are original to the film. The melody, however, was an adaptation of Na Baixa do Sapatiero, 1938 by, by Ari Boroso, 1903 to 1964. The song Pandero and Flute was written by Benedito Lacerda and developed by Charles Wolcott. The song Os Dings de Yaya, 1941, was by Ari Boroso, 1903 to 1964, is used in the film with its original Portuguese lyrics. The film uses an instrumental composition in a scene featuring cacti. It is the Polka Jesusita in Chihuahua, 1916, by Quirino Mendoza and E. Cortez. Unusually for a Disney film, it is a military-themed composition. The composer was a military officer on the Mexican Revolution, circa 1910 to 1920, and the song was primarily used at first by military bounds. While Pablo the Penguin is sailing from Antarctica to the Galapagos Islands, an instrumental composition is heard. It is appropriate to the scene, it's Sobre las Olas, Over the Waves, 1888, by Juventino Rosas, 1868-1894. to 1894. The film uses the song Jarabe Pateño, 1900, by Jonas Yeverino Cardenas, 1907-1957, it is among the oldest songs used in the film. Despite its famous musical soundtrack, the film never won the Oscar for Best Musical Score. It lost to The Anchors Away, 1945, where several of the songs were performed by Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra. The Arakuen bird introduced in the film runs among the famous Disney characters of Warner Spector. Spectre is the creator of the Epic Mickey series of video games which focuses on the classic and mostly forgotten Disney characters. There were plans to introduce the Arakuen bird to the first game of the series, but the character did not make the final act. The segment Las Posadas is Christmas themed. It depicts Las Posadas Spanish lodgings, accommodations, a Mexican Christmas custom. It commemorates the writings of Mary, mother of Jesus during her pregnancy. The song You Belong to My Heart and its lyrics are original to the film. The melody, however, is an adaptation of Solamente Una Vez, 1941, by Augustine Lara, 1897-1970. This was the only packaged film from what is often referred to as Disney's wartime era to receive any theatrical reissues. The Three Caballeros, 1944, is one of three Disney animated feature films to feature flying equines, in this case a flying donkey. The other two are Fantasia, 1948, and Hercules, 1997, which feature flying horses. Features the return of Jose, or Joe, or Zé, as he is known in original Brazilian Portuguese, Carioca, the Brazilian parrot featured in Salus Amigos, 1942. Though the film introduces the concept of Jose Carioca as a magic user, the idea has not been followed in subsequent appearances of the character. The name Pablo, used by the penguin of the film, is the Spanish version of the Latin name Paulos, little or small. The English version is Paul. The Mexico segment involves the three caballeros having a ride on a flying sarape. The sarape is a long blanket-like shawl. The depiction in the film more resembles the concept of a flying carpet. 
The film The Three Caballeros 1945 was adapted to a 48 pages long comics book story in 1945. The adaptation was written and drawn by Walt Kelly in 1913 and 1973. Kelly created many stories of the Disney comics, though he is mostly remembered as the creator of the comic strip Pogo. The name Panchito used by the Caballero Panchito Pistoles is a diminutive form of the name Pancho. Pancho itself started as a nickname for Francisco, is the Spanish and Portuguese version Latin Franciscus. The English version of the name is Francis. Franciscus derived names are popular in several countries because the name was popularized by St. Franciscus Assisiensis, Latin for Francis of Assisi. 1181-1182 to 1226. The film introduces the Arakuan bird, a minor but memorable character. He went on to co-star with Donald Duck in Clown of the Jungle 1947 and to appear with the with both Donald and Jose Carioca in the Blame It on the Samba segment of Melody Time 1948. He has since made various appearances in comic books and television animation. A scene of the film is devoted to Jose Carioca teaching magic to Donald Duck in order for him to change size. Jose calls this magic methods black magic. This might not be particularly accurate. The term black magic is typically applied to the use of magic for evil, malicious, or selfish purposes. The segment The Cold-Blooded Penguin features Pablo, a penguin who hates the cold and seeks warmth. This is very similar to the concept of Chili Willy 1953, the debut animated film of the penguin character Chili Willy. Some animation historians suggest that Chili Willy was conceived by Walter Lantz and his staff as their version of Pablo. The term gauchito from the segment The Flying Gauchito, Little Gauchito. The term gaucho refers to the horsemen and cattle herders of the South American Pampas. They serve as a natural symbol in both Argentina and Uruguay, though their presence is not limited to these countries. Burrito, the character of the film, is a small donkey with bird-like wings who can fly. While the concept of the flying donkey is original to the film, it probably derives from the more common concept of a flying horse. The concept derives from, the, from a pegasus, a character of Greek mythology, and has since become a common theme in art and fiction. Since the concept of the flying gauchito was in production long before the release of the Three Caballeros, the feature characters appeared in the Disney comics two years before the release of the film. Specifically, the flying gauchito and burrito first appeared in the comic book story The Flying Gauchito, September 1942, and was drawn by Walt Kelly. The flying gauchito and burrito have made a few appearances in comics since their debut in 1942, though they were never major stars. They co-starred in The Flying Gauchito 1942, The Flying Gauchito 1954, O Gauchino Voador 1995, O Dever Comprido 1995, and Quem e o Burro 1995. The rest of their appearances are adaptations of Three Caballeros covers and posters. In the film, the singing of Os Quindins de Yaya, 1941, is briefly interrupted by a man who sings a small portion of another song. The other song is Bregoyes Cariocas, 1931, by Braguinha, 1907 to 2006. The film uses the song Lilongo, 1938, by Felipe Gil. Gil had a number of hits from 1938 to 1942, but is otherwise an obscure figure. And the film uses the song La Sandunga, 1853, by Massamo Ramo Ortiz. The song is the only song in the film with a native Mexican theme since the song is about a Zapotec woman. When reaching the equator, Pablo the Penguin has problems in continuing his sea voyage and receives assistance from the god Neptune. Neptune is the Roman god of the sea, equivalent to the Greek god Poseidon. Pancho Pistoles repeatedly refers to Donald Duck as a son of a gun during the film. The phrase is a British term referring to children of sailors who were born aboard ships of the Royal Navy. By regulation, pregnant women aboard ships had to give birth in the spot between the broadside guns. According to the works of Admiral William Henry Synth, 1788 to 1865, son of a gun, an epithet conveying 
contempt in a slight degree and originally adapted to boys born afloat when women were permitted to accompany their husbands to sea. One admiral declared he literally was thus cradled under the breasts of a gun carriage. The custom of los posadas, Spanish for lodging, featured in the film celebrates the Nativity of Jesus. It is celebrated annually for nine days from 16th of December to the 24th of December. When Ward Kimball was handed the titular musical number to animate, he was given no real direction or storyboards to work with. He was only given the lyrics to the song, so he just drew whatever came to his mind. After he finished the sequence, he was afraid that Walt was going to fire him, and to his surprise, he loved, he loved it and told him not to change a thing. While The Three Caballeros was, first, was the first appearance of Panchito Pistoles in a film, it was not really the debut of the character. To help promote the upcoming film, Panchito was introduced in the Disney comics in 1943. His first appearance was the text story La Piñata, August 1943. He then got his first starring role in the 10-page story Panchito, November 1943, where he romances Clara Cluck. In a certain scene, Donald and Jose Carioca shrink in size in order to enter a book. In a later scene, they return to their proper sizes. The scenes are similar to Alice's changes in the size in a later Disney animated feature film, Alice in Wonderland 1951. A scene of the film is devoted to Jose Carioca teaching magic to Donald Duck in order to ha for him to change size. Jose Carioca calls his magic method black magic. This might not be particularly accurate. The term black magic is typically applied to the use of magic for evil, malicious, and or selfish purposes. The Brazil sequence in this film is indi indicative to how for, of how far Walt Disney still had to go in his effort to combine the live action with animation. The quality of the animation significantly distorts whatever the live action figures are in front of the frame, whereas the cells are crystal clear when the animated characters stand before the live actors. Ironically, it was not Disney who would perfect live action animation. Hanna-Barbera at MGM would realize the full potential of the technology of the following year in the celebrated sequence from Anchors Away in 1945. That paired Gene Kelly in a dance number with Jerry the Mouse from Tom and Jerry. In comparing that number to The Three Caballeros 1944, it is clear that the characters never truly look like they are sharing the same frame in the Disney effort, while the side-by-side -side effects seamlessly in the MGM film. And that are those are your fun facts for The Three Caballeros. Thank you all so much for watching this redo. Again, if you wish to see the original, it is in the same playlist as this one is. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye little skeletons, stay safe, I love you guys.